3 body. And when we're looking at ourselves playing in this virtual reality game, our body is going to be the extension or the material version of our soul and our spirit. So what most people, including spiritual community, believe is that that 5D is, is like the utopia. It is like a higher level of consciousness where we're all going to be in unity and in oneness together. And it, it actually just doesn't work like that until we have created our own individual uh, reality that is uh, governed by ourselves, which means our it is going to be self-sovereign. It is going to be self-sufficient. It is going to be our world. So each... Each of us is responsible that when we awaken enough that we will build our own world. And a lot of the times, even when you have your death experience and you incarnate, you haven't changed the inside issues and therefore it travels with you from lifetime to lifetime. And this is where we get our karmic imprint. This is where we get our, our fundamental subconscious script uh, that is not just created in childhood. It's a picking up where you left off in childhood where the sum of all measures is accumulated through that astrology and until you start working with your individual customized five-dimensional state of being you are going to be held accountable to that astrology uh script as if you had no free will you might be able to like you know make some physical adjustments on the outside but that script will fundamentally be run by the subconscious and it will call you back to exactly the equation written in the stars. Now you are a star. So that was a kind of guideline and that was a karmic report the day you were born. This is like, this is your state of being. And if you don't change it, if you do not change the self-concept, if you do not conceive yourself as a new being, you will live this script out to a T. You will still struggle unless you change your self-concept. And changing your self-concept is looking at that script and identifying with who and what you choose to be, making course corrections, and then affirming a lot of the times just the opposite until the subconscious mind receives it through the impregnation of repetitive affirmation. So when you're when you're looking at the state of being that you choose to be, it's going to be a total contradiction of the environment and circumstances that you live. And that's a no-brainer. So do not let your ego trick you into thinking that, oh, my circumstances don't allow me to be this because you literally believe that you might have put these desires in your heart, but it was actually God and the higher, the highest version of you, the high, high, high version of you placed those desires in your heart so that you would outgrow that script. And God was praying on you to see that if you wanted what was in here more than if you were going to be able to let go of the resistance that was going on out there. So if you've noticed, the dreams that are in your heart are, are way bigger than your pocketbook. They're going to be way bigger than your physical, um, you know, education level permits. It's going to be way bigger than you could ever do, you know, with you and maybe even five people if you had all the time in the world because the infinite doesn't work with time and space the same way that you look at it. You're looking at this dream in your heart and going, how would I ever manifest this? Okay, like when you close your eyes and you go into the deepest parts of the desires of your heart, not desires of your mind, not your lack and limitation and scarcity programs, but the true desires of your heart, they, are, they will 100% of the time be way too big for you to facilitate even in 10 lifetimes if you were going to do it in physical reality but see god doesn't want you to do this in physical reality it's not asking you to do anything it's asking you to become the state of being that which is the feeling of the desire or the wish fulfilled which means that whatever it is imagine that you already have it and how will you feel and then you build your self-concept around that ideal Never once does it say, okay, but I have to do something. Never once does it say, God says, okay, now, now go figure out how to find millions of dollars to, to do what you what you see in your heart or change your body in such a way where you're like, there's no way I could do this because God just wants you to be the state of being. And then all that is will be added onto you, which means time and space don't 
they aren't, they, they don't work the same way on the higher dimensions, you guys. Your doing is your wounding. Your need to do is your separation beliefs. Your wanting to figure out how that is coming from your small wounded self that is separate from knowing that God is the infinite way, that your heart is telepathic. So when there is a dream in your heart and you say, challenge accepted, I can be that state. I can pretend, I can imagine what that would feel like. I can be in that state. Then when you begin to align with that state of being, God, omnipresent, will move everyone, every one of his children and his world around to facilitate and match your state of being. On the flip side of that, let's look at the state of being that you are currently in. Not the one you want to be, not the one that matches your dream in your heart, but the one that your default setting, the one that you always end up back with. Uh, after meditation and the phone rings and it's bad news, you're going through the same storyline and it's going to bring you back to that default setting of the state of being. Or you've been in imagination for an hour and then you come out and, and you know, your tooth start hurting or your back is hurting. It's the same old story. So that is going to take you to your, your third dimensional default state of being just you're going to come in with the default setting that is the vibrational match of where you left off or what you have that's unfinished business so your unfinished business is where you're gonna you're gonna come into now as a child you're not gonna know that so you're gonna even accumulate more unfinished business that's going to match the unfinished business and so it feels like you are going all the way backwards into de-ascension instead of ascension. But that's part of the third dimensional game of separation. Because in the third dimensional game, we all get to be separate gods, which means that we all get to be our version through our secret sauce and our unique perspective and, and our Akashic records of thousands of maybe millions of incarnations of who that is is within you is going to be different than everyone else this is why our fingerprints are all different because we all get to be our own individual gods and god goddesses and when we are in the frequency of our creator we all fit together perfectly because even though i'm in my unique bubble having my unique state and my unique reality right you're a vibrational match to not the storyline I'm playing out, uh, the way that I look, the the what I'm doing for to to share my uh, gift of service to humanity. But what is that? What is similar that creates the match is that we are that we love one another and we are living in the wish fulfilled. So these are the things that's going to make us click together and create a new, higher collective consciousness that. You have your own unique territory uh, decoding the Bible as your treasure map to your fifth dimensional heaven on earth, like what you came for. You came for your heaven on earth. I, I have told you that you have an inheritance waiting for you. I have told you that your birthright is abundance. Your birthright is everything and you could ask and more in overflow, in oversupply. Anyone, anything that you want to experience is all literally just at your focus and belief system away, you also have, when you're born, you are given territory, okay? So again, the territory that you are gonna be born into is gonna be matching the state of being that you are in. So it might not be the territory that you want because the thing is, is there's nothing but infinite states. And so if you can create a new state of being, it's almost like if you looked at a map, you would have your very own state, okay? So if you had your very own state and you were sovereign in that state, which meant, which meant you were the mind that controlled that state, okay? You guys understand that the definition of government is mind control. So whoever controls the state is the one who is controlling it with their mind, okay? So when you're working with a state of being, 
you are going to get so much more than just a feeling. Because if you can hold this vibration of the state of the wish fulfilled, which is the state of the, the dream in your heart that has not manifested, that you don't have any way in Hades to create it but with your current bank account and your current health or your current age or your current you know relationship status. And you're thinking, how in the heck the you that that set this up with God, which is unity of self, said, we're going to get there this time. We're going to get to that state of being and we're going to hold that frequency and we're going to embody it and we're going to live in that space and we're going to dwell in that space and we're going to feel in that space. We're going to think in that space, no matter what is happening around us. And then it will just like if I put ice into a freezer, it would become firm. So through enough affirmations, then my state of being will become firm or ice, a solid idea of itself that will then manifest people, places, and things that match that self-concept. Remember, the player creates the playground, creates the playmate. So through you holding your state of being, you are creating the state, okay? So it's almost like it works like this, like I am uh, my higher level of consciousness, maybe my ego or my small self is controlling my body right now, but I kind of like move the ego over and I start, you know, changing the rules, changing the leadership, changing the government of this body, which means I, the higher level of me begins to mind control my body and my ego perspective of myself and therefore the body begins to become hypnotized by my higher expression instead of the collective lower expression and my body begins to believe in this higher desires or this higher confirmation or this higher commands that I am asserting and I am affirming daily and again it begins to form around my beliefs very soon my physical body is going to change but so much more is going to happen than that my physical body is going to change my surroundings are going to change my reality is going to change my government's going to change my world is going to change so it's almost like the more you can anchor the frequency the more that the waves or the the you know the ricochet of the vibration is going to move out into the collective and very soon, because you are controlling through the government, self-government, through the mind control and self-hypnosis to pull yourself out of the collective consciousness and create your own state, you literally get your own state. So, so the smoke and mirrors of the game creators are no different than like the Truman Show. They're, they're showing you what is going to get your focus now another word for focus is light light is information light is your streaming so if you don't technically exist outside of yourself and you're having this whole experience of third dimensional reality from the inside of you then your light is coming from the projector within and where you shine that projector is going to be where your energy goes so it doesn't matter how much you disagree with this it does not matter how much you believe in the opposite of this. If you're looking at this, that's actually the reality that you are building because your light is your currency. So how you're going to pay for your state of being or exchange for your state of being with, with uh, our creator is going to be your focus. Okay. And how you, the building blocks of how you're going to build your own state or how you're building part of this because it takes a lot of us to build all of this they teach a lot of agreement to build this so not only am i looking at this i'm talking about this now i might say i don't like this but that is the world i'm creating i'm creating a world where i don't like this because it takes my word literal so you may think like i'm asking you to go into some unbelievable state right now that's like there's no way you would ever be able to manifest. And all I'm actually asking you to do is get back to your nature. So if you look at the definition of sin, it's separated in nature or missing the mark. So your nature is the name 
and the you. So we don't believe that our natural state would be desired enough or allowed to exist enough to put the work into our own state. And so we keep going to the guru state and studying from the guru, or we keep going to the job state and studying, you know, getting paid by the by the job or watching the news to see what the big collective state is doing to see how it's going to affect my state and never ever realizing that if I would just return to the true state of being that I set myself up to experience, every single thing would be a self-generating state. Every single thing that you would need would be added and given to you because it's in the state's programming. Your job is to figure out how your state, once you create the state, how it actually works in this unification program of of body, mind, soul. So as you're changing and getting back to your state, your natural state, your natural state is going to be the unbelievable desires in your heart that you don't believe are possible. And so you believe that your state is owned by the government, but it is only because you have not put your small self under hypnosis yet. You have not put, you have not reprogrammed your ego to work for you. So it's working against you because it's addicted to what everyone else is seeing. It, it doesn't, even believe in the idea that you could possibly be God. Now, the thing is, is you do have free will. So as long as you choose to give up your state and believe what everybody else is believing and spend time on trying to figure out how to live comfortably as a slave, then you will go through this slave program of mortality. You will go through the slave program of not owning or having any true sovereignhood. You will always have to deal with collective ego. You will be living from your wounded astrology chart. And, 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 you know, some people will call that a life and I had a good life, but what you are capable of having and being and doing is nothing more than turning inwardly and doing the inner work and really taking back your state. So your state is only something that you and God know what is. And that state is probably going to scare you because you've given your power away for so many lifetimes. And it's going to be challenging and there's going to be lots of interruptions and uh, checkpoints and begin agains and start overs. But ultimately, when you start to turn inwardly and really choose through your heart, not circumstances, your state of being and begin to put effort into that. You will see that the entire heaven collective, the whole, the omnipresent collective, the whole unseen world that is here to help you begins to show up for you, which means that you're not going to have to take back your state alone. And it's not like that you are going to be attacked for taking back your state, you see? So it's not like when your picture starts to change, it's going to affect everyone else's picture in the long run because it's just like a security camera that, you know, has been like, they'll just kind of blip over it so it all looks flush again. Uh, Because if you can reach that vibration of having your own screen, then they're not a vibrational match of taking it from you. Okay, so there is a little bit of mental warfare in the beginning because, you know, you're you're doing something that has not been done before. And this is this is exactly kind of what that Christhood looks like because you are completely sovereign and your stream of consciousness is your father's house or or the idea of, you know, your abundance and power is coming direct from source, not your job, not your family, not your love, not your, you know, self-worth issues it's coming direct from your father and this is where the scripture says my father's house has many mansions see now you can understand that the many mansions is everyone has their own state and it is your 
job to take it back. And I will tell you that in order to get the state, you got to go work from macro to micros or micros to macros. So first and foremost, you've got to get your body back. And once you get your body back out of that stronghold of the matrix, out of the addiction to separation, out of the belief systems that you're unworthy, out of the spiritual ego of, you know, what's not fair. Once you get out of all of that, then, and you're building this body, well, then that body will begin to 3D print out a reality and all of the things, people, places, events, circumstances, money, support, love interest, whatever it is that you're needing that match now what the body believes about you because these are not just cells that are jail cells until you make them cell signals. So your job is to fill your whole body with light. When thy eye be single, the whole body will be filled with light. There is a scripture telling you that when there is one master and you're not looking at collective as the master who's telling you to go to work, when you become self-sovereign, then your whole body will be filled with light. And when it's filled with light, then you are the government and your cells are now cell signals. And so how that works is once you have your, your screen, your state back, and you have your body back, it begins to communicate with other LED screens that have their cells back, cell signals back, and through the telepathic nature of the unseen world, these screens begin to connect and oh my gosh, this works perfectly for what I was creating. And you're creating this over here and I'm creating this over here. But it's coming from sovereign states. Miles Monroe, uh, kingdom philosophy that he teaches about. He talks about how the states are independent territories where you are the king or the queen of your state or your territory. Which means that I get to be the, king, the queen of my state you get to be the king of your state and our states now come together and they work they click perfectly together just like the collective does through group agreement through unity through love through kindness through compassion so we're not connecting through misery loves company we're connecting through this idea that we are all one yet we get to have our co-creative experiences, unique secret sauce are our way to bless the planet. And so how I would bless the planet if I had my state back, even though I'm individual and I'm doing my thing, is my cell signal would be streaming light. And it might get someone's attention that's tired buying into the other screens. Like, I don't want to look at this screen anymore. What is someone else doing? Whoa, these people over here, they're working and it's not that I had to go in someone else's state because I get to be and have dominion over my state. And so the dominion is I have dominion over the earth, not the world. The world is the collective dome that we all believe we live in. So the world is, is a system. Okay. But the earth, this is, God's house. So if I get my state back, then my dominion is anything on that state. It does not take away from you. It does not take away from anyone. It is self-generated. It is self-governed. It is self-created. Uh, and it just happens to fit with like attracts like. And therefore, we begin to build a new collective of light. And that is what your concept of 5D is going to look like where you think you're gonna join someone who's already doing this in order to be part of that collective and to get away from the slavery collective, you've got to light up your screen, which means that you have to be living in the wish fulfilled. You've gotta be uh, designing your own reality. You've gotta be holding your, you've gotta be the government to this body. You've gotta be proper leadership. You've got to be directing those thoughts. You've got to be knowing that your currency of what you're looking at is actually fueling other people's screens and yours is just a match of theirs because you're not tending to it. Your influence, and it is very difficult. I will not tell you that it's not, but once you 
start to understand that you have your own state and it's yours and all you have to do is take it back it even if it became your life's work it would 100 be worth it so i hope this helps you understand this idea of alchemy in a very different way because the idea of changing lead into gold is the gold is the light and the lead represents the collective uh god of of their reality which is saturn which represents lead so now you understand alchemy of the third dimensional to the fifth dimensional game and the fourth dimension is basically where we do all of the bridge work the bridge of incidents where we work in our laboratory where we're building new belief systems where we're collapsing old worlds this is our behind the scenes behind the stage safe space where we can do all of our work in secret and um and then uh and then the kingdom of heaven is ours which is our state exactly how god created you to be